Welcome to part one of the 85mm focal length for the SR Lounge Canon Lens Wars series. Now we have a total of seven lenses in the 85mm grouping. So in this first part, we're gonna be discussing and showing you just the 85mm primes. In part two, we'll be comparing the zoom lenses that can match the 85mm focal length. And then in part three, we'll compare our favorite zoom to our primes. For those that are new to the SR Lounge Canon Lens War series, be sure to check out the teaser video where we introduce the entire series, we show you our testing methodology and discuss exactly what we're trying to do. Also check out all the other videos and each article on each focal length. This is the 85mm focal length prime lens wars for which we have two lenses. We have the 85mm 1.8 and we have the 85mm 1.2. Let's go ahead and start from the top with their aesthetic look and sharpness at the respective WOAs or wide open apertures. And once again, this is a visual test of differences, not a technical one. So we're trying to distinguish differences in an overall appearance while viewing the images at full screen on a 27 inch 3K resolution display. When viewed full screen, the 85L clearly shows quite a bit more bokeh at 1.2 than the standard 85 does at its WOA 1.8. In fact, this is one of those times where the visual differences between these two lenses really couldn't be any more extreme and more noticeable. But while the 85mm 1.2 at 1.2 does have an incredibly large amount of very creamy and delicious bokeh, it is noticeably less sharp than the 85 1.8 at 1.8. However, while the 85L is a bit more soft when wide open, it is completely usable to shoot wide open at 1.2. And this is crucial because if a lens isn't sharp enough when shooting wide open, then that kind of eliminates the usefulness of that aperture or of a being able to shoot at that aperture. And the case in point for that is the 50mm 1.4, which at 1.4 is just too soft and too dreamy to really be useful, at least for our purposes. While 85 1.2 is a bit softer than the 85 1.8, it's still completely usable and it has a very different visual look than when compared to the 1.8. In addition, when wide open, the 85 1.2 also appears to have slightly better contrast and color rendition than the standard 85. Let's go ahead and step them both up to their WCA or widest common aperture of f1.8 and see if the aesthetic differences still hold up between both lenses. And we notice that at 1.8, the 85L still has more bokeh, it still has a softer and creamier look to the bokeh than the 85 1.8. It's worth mentioning that the 85 1.2 at 1.8 does have a bit more vignetting, but that kind of does a really nice job in pulling down edge highlights, particularly in this scene and kind of adding to the overall look. But it is worth saying that this does have a bit more vignetting. What is most noticeable though with both these lenses at their WCA or their widest common aperture is that the overall contrast and color of the 85 1.2 is simply that much better than the 1.8. As far as sharpness, the 85 1.8 is still slightly ahead of the 1.2, but I expect that to change shortly as we kind of creep up to higher apertures. Still though, the 85 1.8 is quite impressive. It has great sharpness and a similar look at a fraction of the price. Now at a common aperture of around f2.8, this is where the 85L really pulls ahead in terms of detail and sharpness. We also see that f2.8, the 85L also has better overall color, better contrast, which is expected again, since you're paying so much more for the L version of the lens, for the professional version. However, f2.8, the look, the overall aesthetic quality of the bokeh, kind of the overall look to the lens, this really levels off between both lenses. The 85 1.2's bokeh is still a bit more creamy, still a bit more smooth and kind of blends a little bit better. But it's difficult to see these differences differences really without zooming in and comparing the images side by side. In addition, at f2.8, we also see that the edge sharpness of the 85L does far exceed that of the standard 85. But again, we have to kind of compare side by side to be able to tell these differences. So what's the final conclusion? Well, for a bit more than 400 bucks, you can get the 85 1.8, which is a surprisingly good lens for the money. In fact, as far as being a value for the overall image quality it creates, it's one of the best values you can get in prime lenses. Now, while you do lose a stop of low light capability and it doesn't quite have the same amount of creamy, bokehlicious look as the 85L, it still is amazingly capable and it's very quick in low light at 1.8. It also creates a beautiful amount of bokeh and is completely usable at f1.8. So even if you already have a 2470 or if you already have a 7200, the 85 1.8 still creates a look that's unique enough that makes it worth having, especially for the price. But if you do have over $2,000 to spend, then stepping up to the 85L is gonna give you a lens that can create a look that's unlike any other. At 1.2, along with the overall compression of the 85 millimeter focal length, you get an incredible look in the bokeh, which really isn't matched by any other lens. It's also sharp enough to shoot wide open, and it gives you a full stop of extra light when compared to just the 85 millimeter standard version, the 85 1.8. It gives you two and a half times more light when you compare it to say a zoom or telephoto lens that's at f2.8. So it's absolutely killer as a low light lens as well. But that additional performance does come at a hefty cost. It's around five times the price of the standard 85. And that means
means that you need to decide if it's worth the additional cash for that boost in performance. When we get to part three, I'll show you how our favorite Zoom kind of stacks up and compares against the 85s in terms of its looks and overall performance. But until then, I hope you enjoyed part one of the 85 millimeter focal length in the SR Lounge Canon Lens Wars series. Be sure to check out the actual article on SR Lounge by clicking in the description below for more information, more example images on each of these lenses and details on where you can purchase. My name is Pi and I'll see you all in the next video.